A remote Canadian military base became the site for an unplanned overnight pit stop for nearly 300 Delta passengers who were headed to Detroit. Here's CTV's Garrett Berry on their Atlantic adventure. It wasn't the sweet smell of home that most passengers dream of after a nine-hour flight, but a small military base in Labrador was home for almost 300 passengers overnight Sunday. Their Delta flight from Amsterdam to Detroit was forced to land in Happy Valley Goose Bay because of mechanical issues. It was a very small airport. We had nowhere, there was nothing around us. We had no idea what was happening. Passengers spent hours on the ground Sunday waiting for a rescue plane to arrive, only to learn that that plane that came to the rescue couldn't bring them home because of limits on flight crew working hours. The, the lid almost came off the plane. At, I mean, by then it was 3 in the morning. So we had been, we had been on the plane for 12 hours at that time. At about 5 Monday morning, they made it here, a military building in Goose Bay. That became their home for just a couple of hours. Shortly afterwards, everybody was back up, went back to the airport, and finally took off. I never flown internationally before this, and I, I don't even want to ever fly internationally again because of how horrible this experience was for us. You flew a rescue plane here, and no one can make the call of, uh, it's an emergency, fly the three-hour flight back to Detroit, it's fine. No one can make that call. This province has a bit of a history taking in stranded passengers. The experience in Gander in the days after 9-11 has become immortalized in a Broadway musical. Goose Bay took seven planes at that time, and this time, according to passengers who posted online, the stranded travelers got a bit of free pizza from the community for their troubles. Gary Barry, CTV News, St. John's.